Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, this German Southpaw is undefeated as an amateur and a pro. As a professional, perfect. 31 fights, 31 wins, 23 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet three inches tall, 1.91 meters, and he weighed in at 221.1 pounds, 100.3 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Krasham, Germany, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Michael Smalley! Here now is his opponent fighting out of the wide corner, a 2015 German national champion and a European and world champion. As a professional, 18 wins with three losses, six of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet five inches tall, 1.95 meters, he weighed in at 259.7 pounds, 117.8 kilos. He fights tonight out of Cologne, Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mohammed. Charge is Tobias Gerald. Gentlemen, gentlemen, you understand the rules you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch glove if you like. That's what grudge Jets. matches are, gentlemen. Jets. Yep. You don't touch gloves. Jets. Jets. Mohammed Abdallah, Jets. Michael Jets. Smolik. Ready. After Fight. years of confrontations outside the ring, here they go inside the ring. Smolik going for another three Fight. second KO. Now you see where Mohammed Abdallah's hands are, nice and high. And there's the pressure. Smolik tried using his knees versus it. But Abdallah needs to stay close. You see him even pushing Tobias Gerald away. Get inside, don't let him move. Mohamed Abdallah has been training with the best heavyweight in the world, Rico Verhoeven, who said this man has some of the best stamina I've ever seen. He just keeps coming. Yeah, right now he's just trying to smother everything Schmalik has. Fight! Good strategy from Schmalik trying to hook and move on angles as the southpaw. Abdallah, obviously the heavier Stop. fighter. He's going to try and be the bully in there if possible. This is a fight. You understand? Or you want to hug each other, okay? Time, fight! The crowd's coming alive. Tobias Gerald's got his work cut out for him, a referee trying to back up Big Mo Abdallah, who's running, literally chasing Smolik around the Stop. ring. So far, messy start to round one. Fight! Stop. Let these guys still try to settle into this fight a little bit. Fight. Abdallah really hasn't thrown much. First round, he's going to be content just staying close. Maybe trying to wear Smolik down. What's the strategy here for Dom? I mean, it's the pressure, but I mean, I think he's pressuring a little too close, like he's falling right into the clinch. But you can see Smolik's left arm goes around Abdallah's neck. It's almost like Abdallah's smothering his own punches. He's, he's not at range to be able to get anything off. Well, he's only landed four strikes of 16 thrown. And I don't know, hopefully this is just a first round strategy to kind of take away the explosiveness of Schmalik. But so far, an ugly start to round one. Sometimes when you're so amped up, there's so much energy and adrenaline flowing through your veins. You lose yourself a little bit. Yeah, this is a, not, a, not a great start to the fight, that's for sure. I mean, Smolik is trying to hit, move on angles, attack, angle out. And Abdallah just content, just pressing him against the ropes. 
five total strikes landed for Abdal. He's fighting out of Cologne, Germany, not too far down the road. Signature strike is an uppercut. And he doesn't take backward steps, Joe. He took a lot of forward steps, but didn't do much with him. Yeah, really smothering. You see Dennis Crowley Hill trying to get him to open up with the punches. His opponent, Michael Smolik, holds that fastest no uh, knockout three seconds. Came out with a spin kick to the body. I mean, wants to land his spin kicks. Abdallah's not allowing it, but outside the ring does a lot. Television actor, author of books, former police officer, a busy man. Toby is still doing his best to try and get these guys to actually fight. All five judges giving round one to Smolik. Pretty easy decision there. Abdallah didn't do anything. Yep, Smolik is trying to land the knees, which seems to be the best. As Abdallah's coming in, he throws the knees. Then he tries to counter with the hook. There's that spinning back kick that Smolik is known for. And if he has the space, that's the perfect we weapon against the high guard of Abdallah. Smolik much busier. Look at the knees, Joe, 17 and As soon as Abdallah comes in, there they go. But Tobias Gerald's gonna warn him for pushing. Fight! He's already warned him twice. Drop! Stop! Fight! Stop! You think Mo Abdallah's just really nervous right now? Fight. I don't know. Who knows, but... Someone's mouthpiece came out. Time. Time. And that's Smolik's. It's the second time. It's a kickboxing fight, not a wrestling fight. So, I understand. If not, I deduct the point from both of you. No problem with it. Time in, fight! Stop. Yeah, points are coming soon. And Toby Gerald's doing as good as he can. There's Abdallah. If he stands in distance, throws straight punches, he's got a shot. Fight. Stop. I don't think you can really Stop. fault Smolik for the way this is playing out. Fight. I mean, you, you do see Smolik grabbing. You can see his put his hands around the head. But that's kind of, you know, his defense Stop. to... Abdallah trying to throw those inside, you know, dirty punches, that street fight style. Yeah, I kind of agree with the fans right now. I mean, not a, an, an aesthetically appealing fight by any means. Well, the biggest cheer this fight got is when Tobias Gerald said, this isn't wrestling, it's kickboxing. Yeah. Play out this like this. No oh. holding, no clinching. Fight! Fight! I think Tobias Gerald's getting the tricep workout, yeah. trying to continually push them away. I think have some ripped triceps at the end of this fight. I think Tobias Gerald's leading on all five judges' scorecards. <laughs> this is not what we hope to see from this grudge match. Yeah, really, really sloppy fight. Dennis Crowell let Mohammed hear it in the corner. Next Thursday, October 17th, Rico Verhoeven and Bader Hari will be live in the same room at the same time for the Collision 2 press conference. Two years since their last meeting, they come nose to nose for the first time since then. 10 a.m. Eastern time in the United States. I called WWE for eight years, Joe, and this is wrestling. Yeah, right in your zone now, man. It's just really messy, really sloppy. 
And you know, you know, I'm trying to give the guys the benefit of the doubt. Schmalik is trying to land the knee. You know, he does land the knee, then he grabs. Schmalik is trying to use his hook and angle, but they just continually grab. And it's a little bit of both guys as well. You see Schmalik's left hand, you know, hook the neck of Abdallah. Abdallah's throwing one punch and grabbing in. Just really, really ugly. It's the only word I can use for it. I don't think we've seen Abdallah throw any kicks. Next one, one point. Fight. See, right away though, you see Schmalik grabbing as well, but no kicks from Abdallah. Stop. At all. And when Abdallah throws punches at a couple feet away, he's landed some, gotten a reaction from Schmalik, but then he just smothers back in again. At that point, that was Smolik now Next one, getting in close, one. clinching. But Aaron Smolik. Hopefully, they'll be too tired to hold in a minute. Well, that's probably the most action in combination we've seen. Two front kicks in a row before clinching. <laughs> Neither man winning many fans here tonight. It was that street fight. Almost looked like Abdallah was going to throw an elbow. Fight! Yeah, that was Smolik now. Ah. Michael Smolik, a former police officer, and he'll know both these men could be arrested for uh, <laughs> <laughs> disturbing the peace. Fight. Fan, these fans are getting restless here. Yeah, the, ah. the best boxing has been almost like hockey style. They hook the head Fight. and they've thrown those little few rabbit punches and... It's a side headlock. You just wonder why wouldn't Abdallah take two steps back, at least for a few seconds, and let his big paws go? I mean, he's scared to get kicked, but at this point, I mean, this is what you're in this game for, to be entertaining, to be spectacular, to fight, to kickbox. You have Dennis Crowell on his feet yelling. I don't think there's much you can yell at this point. You know, Rico Verhoeven's watching at home right now saying, where's the guy that, that takes me Fight. bell to bell in training? Fight. And there's Go. something. Something, yeah, there's something. <laughs> and it seemed like Smolik slipped in the corner too. Fight. Well, we like to be honest on commentary, Joe. How bad is this fight? Well, I mean, I'm trying to give the guys a benefit of the doubt, but I don't feel like they're even trying to fight on the outside. Oh. To me, it's, it's very sloppy, not technical fight. at all. Myself being a, a, a technical style kickboxer, oh. I mean, they tried. I mean, there's a lot of pressure. It is what it is. What it is. There's the reaction from this German crowd. Had a lot of smiling faces. The decision when we return to Dusseldorf. I'm here with Tajani Bezdadi attempting to become the youngest champion in glory history Saturday night against Marat Gregorian. How are you feeling? You know, I feel great. I, uh, I feel good. I had a tremendous training camp. So, yeah, I feel good. This is your second chance at a world title. The first time you came up just short against Sidichai. What's going to be different this time around? You know, I'm more mature now, um, you know, physically, mentally. And, yeah, I think that I'm in the best shape of my life right now. So it's my time. And what would it mean to you to become Glory's youngest world champion? You know, it means everything to me, you know, to become the youngest ever. And, um, you know, th this is where I work my whole life for. This is why, why I'm here at Glory. I just want to be the champion. And that's what I'm going to do on Saturday night. Yeah. We welcome you back to Dusseldorf. Highlights from our co-main event. Not the fight we expected, but both guys really stuck to a strategy. You know, Mo Abdallah came, tried to pressure on the inside. 
where Smolik was trying to use his kicks, but that's almost impossible because Abdallah kept coming forward. A lot of the punches were mid-range, in the clinch. Not a lot of clean scoring strikes landed. I mean, Abdallah must have really respected the kicking power from Smolik. Smolik did land some good knees. That was probably his best strike as Abdallah was coming in. He would land the knee, then try to angle up with his hooks. But strikes by round was all Michael Smolik really trying to get things going. Not much in the first round or many of the rounds for Abdallah. You know, strike count. It was all Michael Smolik in those knees. He had no choice. He couldn't kick, so he found those knees. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's take a look at the totals. They give us back a split decision. They score this bout 29-28 Smolik, 29-28 Abdallah, and our three remaining judges score at 30-27 for your winner by split decision, Michael!